Uh, yeah, that's 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 what we're doing. Now. We're working on Cygnus, Cygnusing it to the max. We're taking it to the max. Okay, welcome back to the galaxy. I think this will be a bit of a shorter video since I do kind of want to learn a little more about the answers to my video from last week. But I'm gonna go ahead just because I do want um, this ship pretty badly. I've had my eyes on it. And we just gotta go get them, you know what I mean? Confirm transaction. Confirm in a galactic <laughs> vehicles. Thank you for your patronage. Transaction success, all right. I can't wait to fly this baby. We're not gonna fly it today. Um, I do have an inspirational, this paint job is so cool. I'm gonna come back if we have enough for it. I think we will. Um, I'm just curious as well, if we buy a slot here, I think this would be an interesting feature to show off. Um, does it open it up uh, for like zero out of two, max slots two, okay. Let's check out a medium ship, the Farfalle, yeah, this was a great. Slots use three out of three. Max slots five. Okay. So I should have already actually known the answer to this one. Because this one originally had two slots, but I just purchased another slot. Okay, okay. So if we want to really deck out a ship, we can do that. Um, your inspirational quote is from the composer Brahms. He said that inspiration, interestingly enough, is basically nothing without craftsmanship it's like a stick waving in the wind or something but i think essentially what he's saying is that people like you cygnus and your team and devs and creative people in general who make crafts it's in those crafts or it's from those crafts that we are inspired right so that ship is really cool looking so that's inspiring to to me and here's the ship upgrades. We want to look at some of these tier 3 items. I'm kind of excited by the EMP, I think. Or what was the other... There was another AoE item. Um, we may have to dig into this more next time. Oh, this one. Causes AoE damage. Causes AoE knockup. I think we gotta take this. DGV, thanks you for your patrons. There's an added to your inventory. Fun facts. Umpires used to sit in rocking chairs far back behind home plates. I guess they were more in the officiating role initially. I think that was in the 1800s, late 1800s. And then your other fun fact is... Doo -doo -doo. Um... Yeah, I want to equip this. Yeah, sorry. Just want to make sure I was equipping the right thing. And then I'm curious. Like, let's say I want to also have it on the Farfali Nebula R. It's really not an issue since I don't use... Yeah, I think I'd have to take it off the other one, which is fine. Because you only use one chip at a time. Okay, so we learned something. Hope you did too. There was one other fun fact I had for you, but I'm forgetting it now. Umpires used to sit behind home plate. Oh, in the first plane flight. Um, that started, like, people traveling, which I think is interesting. It was a 23-minute flight in 1914. So, way beginning of 20th century. And then it was just from 